Welcome back to GRTC YouTube channel, your daily supply of solutions to engineering problems. If you like what you see, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you'll be notified every time we have new videos. Okay, in this video, we will continue with the reflection of cantilever beam. Okay, so yung part one, we have uh, solved the problem using the area moment method. Okay, this time we will use it. Ko lang. Hindi ko lang mention si part one. Uh, yung double integration method. Huh? So after the double integration method, we will have the three moment equation. And after that, using the formula. Okay, so yun ang takbo natin. Hanggang part 4 tayo dito. Eh? So, double integration method. Okay, so balikan natin yung beam natin. Ito yung beam natin. Eh? Sinob na natin to yung una, yung by area moment method. So, we will compute the requirement are the slope and the reflection at B and at C. So, nakuha na natin yung sagot. Okay, uh, ayan. So, using the area moment method. Now, let's have double integration method. So, hindi ko sasabihin alin dito yung mga pinakamagandang method. No? So, kayo na lang mag-adjust. Mamaya, uh, after we finish part 4, uh, we will decide. No? Actually, depende yan sa, ano, depende sa situation. Okay? So, the double integration method. Now, ano ba yung principle dito? No? So, of course, based pa rin sa elastic curve. Ang gagadahan ng method na to, kasi yung nakukuha mo, hindi lang reflection but equation ng elastic curve. It is advantage ito, na? Equation. So suppose we have here the elastic curve. So very important here is your origin. You have to set your x and the y axis, okay? You can set the origin. Normally, most students, most people likes the origin as the point of support. Okay, let's try that. Origin natin is A, na? So ito yung ating 0, 0. Ito yung x, ito yung y, ito yung ating elastic curve. So, kukunin natin yung equation ng elastic curve. Y as a function of x. Y as function of x. Okay? So, ito yung principle. At any point in the elastic curve, D, coordinates niya ay x and y. Ito, x, y. At any point of the elastic curve. Alright? The principle is, na, ah, by the way, ito yung ating delta B, ha? Delta B at saka yung delta C mamaya. Okay? The principle is, at any point in the elastic curve, na, ah, EI times Y double prime, the second derivative, equals the moment at the point. Yun lang. Moment at D. Whether mag, pili kang tumingin sa left side of D or sa right side of D, pili ka lang. Saan mo gusto? Either way. Ha? So yan yung ating principle. Na? The EI, Y double prime is the second derivative, moment at D. So ang ating, uh, hindi naman problem, but our main goal here, ito kalimitan na hirapan yung students, pagkuha ng moment. Pukunin natin yung moment as a function of the distance x. Take note, our origin is at O. Ah, pukunin natin yung moment as function of the distance. Ito yung ating point D. Ha? Okay, kukunin natin yung moment dito. So ano ba yung moment dito? Dito tayo sa left tubingin. Ha? So it consists of the 156, the 306, and the uniform load. So tatlong loads. Ha? Una yung 156, so positive. Ha? 156 times x. Isunod natin yung 306, minus yan. Okay? Di tayo, sa, sa, di tayo nagkukuha ng moment. Sa left tayo at uh, tumitingin. So minus 306. And the uniform load. Minus 36 times x times x over 2. Okay? So again, uh, madali, madali naman yung makuha. Na? So, simplify lang natin kunti. Ayan na yung ating moment at D. So, EI, Y double prime yan. Okay, all you need to do is to integrate this twice. Ha? Integrate this twice. Okay, first integration natin. So, EI magiging Y prime siya. So, mag ang magiging result dito, slope. Ha? Makukuha natin dito yung slope. So, ano ba yun? Sige na, integrate natin to. This is x squared over 2. Diba? So, 78, diba? Uh, x squared over 2, this is naman x. And this is naman x cubed over 3. Correct? Integral of x squared, x cubed over 3. Magkakaroon lang tayo ng constant of integration. Ito na yun, ha? Diretso ko na. x squared over 2, so magiging 78 na lang. x ito. Ito x cubed over 3, so x na lang siya. Plus the constant of integration. 
So, kunin natin yung constant of integration. You must, by the way, before you decide to do that, you must know your boundary condition. So, with uh, the origin set at A, the boundary conditions here are based on deflection and rotation. Alam natin that at A, walang rotation, walang slope, meaning y prime is zero. At A naman, kasi dito yung ating uh, elastic curve, wala ding y. The reflection is zero. Now, we can use these boundary conditions to solve the constants of integration. Okay, so we have here when x equals zero, the slope of the elastic curve is zero. Y prime is zero. Correct? Substitute it here, zero yan, zero yung x. Uh, well, obviously, c1 is equal to zero. Kwa Okay? So now you have your, uh, tawag dyan, the uh, equation of the slope. Now, to get the elast, I mean, to get the deflection, integrate mo ulit ito. Integrate mo yan ulit. Pag integrate mo yan, magiging x cube over 3 yan. So that will become 78 divided by 3 is 26. Ito naman magiging x squared over 2. So magiging uh, 153 ito. Ito naman magiging x to the 4th over 4. Correct? So magiging 1.5. So ito yung resulta. Oh. Tira nyo. Okay. x cube over 3. So 78 over 3 is 20. 26 x squared over 2, so 360 divided by 2 is 153. x cubed over, x to the fourth over 4, so 6 over 4 is 1.5. Okay, C1 is 0, ha? plus another constant of integration. Another constant of integration. Alright? So your boundary condition is, alam natin that when x is 0 at the origin, your y is also 0. So 0 ang y, 0 ang x. Your C2 obviously is also equal to 0. Gets nyo? Ha? I hope wala kayong problema pag-integrate. The only advantage lang talaga nito is hindi lang reflection at ang point yung makukuha mo. Equation mismo ng elastic curve. So in other words, ito na yung equation ng ating slope at any point x in the beam. x is from A, ha? Take note, your origin. Huwag yung kalimutan yung origin. Many students do not think of this. It's very important na yung origin mo, you have to establish your origin. Okay? Eh? Yung y naman natin, 0 man yung c natin, ito naman yung equation ng elastic curve. Ito yung equation ng ating slope. Okay. So wala na. At any value of x, makukuha mo na yung slope at saka deflection. So if you want the deflection at b, so that is x equals uh, 3, then slope and deflection at b, okay, substitute mo yung 3 dito, makukuha mo yung slope. Okay, 78, 3 squared, and so on. Uh, ito na yung slope natin. Negative 378 or y prime is uh, 378 over EI. Di ba? EI is 3,600. Or that is negative 0.105 radian. Okay. The sign here is, ano talaga? Kasi bakit negative yung sign? Kasi the slope is pababa. Negative siya. Pababa yung ating slope. No? So kung upward yung slope, uh, positive yung makukuha mo. Yun lang. And then if you want the reflection, so, i-substitute mo yung x equals 3 dito naman. Ha? Ito na yung magiging, ito yung sagot. No? Okay, so, ito yung ating deflection. No? Substitute mo yung 3 dito. Okay, 1 by 3x squared minus 1.5x to the fourth. That will give you 796.5. Or y is 796.5, negative 796.5 over ei. Or that's point. 2212 meter or 212.2 and that's also the reflection of B. Ito na yung rotation talaga. Rotation na yan. Ito deflection na yan sa B. Again, negative. Bakit negative? Kasi below the origin. Ito yung origin natin. Oh. Ito yung origin natin. O, level ng origin. Y is below the origin. Okay. So, at C. How about at C? O oh, madaling madali, your x is 2. The same manner, 2 lang yung ilagay natin sa value. Ha? Okay, I think you can easily check this one. So 2 yung ating x, makukuha natin yung y prime. That is also already your theta c. And then 2 yung x, lagay mo dito, makukuha mo yung deflection. Uh, yun ang maganda dito. Kahit, kasi kahit alimbawa, at x equals sa, sa gitna, 1.5. Diretso na. Wala lang, no sweat. No? Madali mo na siyang makuha. Okay? Makuha nyo. Now, tanong. Sir, pwede ba mag-origin tayo sa B? Actually, pwede. No? Subukan natin. Subukan natin. What if you chose B as your origin? Tingnan natin ha. 
Subukan natin siya. Ito yung elastic curve natin. Yan yung origin natin. Ha? Ito yung zero ko. Ha? Pero gawin ko lang dito. Hindi ko lang ina-negative yung left. Pa left, positive. Ha? Negative pabunta doon. Positive tayo. You can change that. Mayroon lang problema. Okay? So, positive tayo. So, yun. So, you then, at any point D in the elastic curve, the distance is X from the origin and Y yan, from the origin. Okay? So, kukunin natin ngayon yung ating uh, tawag dyan, no? yung ating moment. So, this time, tingin tayo sa kanan. Ha? So, at any point, E, I, Y, double prime is the moment to the right of D. Pwede ka rin tumingin sa left, pero maganda sa right kasi dalawang load lang ang involved. So, tila, what are the moments to the right of D? Take note, ito yung X mo, ha? Ito yung X natin. Ha? Ito yung X. So, we have negative 48 moment to the right. Okay? So, negative 48 times X minus 36 times X times X over 2. Or that will be negative 48x minus 18x squared. Okay? So, integrate natin. Una. So, this will become x squared over 2. So, magiging negative 24. Ito naman ay x cubed over 3. So, magiging 6. Yun. Plus C1. Now, ano yung boundary? By the way, ano ba yung boundary condition natin dito? With this as your origin. Okay. When x is 0, y is 0? Hindi, ha? Hindi y is 0 when x is 0. Hindi, ha? Oh, Lili ko when x is 0, y prime is 0? Hindi. Nandito yung y is 0 and y prime is 0. So that is when x is 3. 3 ha? Positive 3. I will, let, I will have the uh, x going to the left as positive. When x is 3, y prime is 0 and also y is 0. That's your boundary condition. Okay? So when x is 3, y prime is 0. Substitute that here. So ito yung magiging result niya. 0, okay, 3, ganun. Okay makukuha mo yung C1. 378. So, ito yung ating equation ng slope. So, unlike kanina, zero kanina yan. Zero yan kanina. Na? Okay. So, ito naman, another boundary. Uh, integrate na naman natin ulit yan. So, next integration. So, we have, this will become x cubed over 3. Na? Ito naman, magiging x to the fourth over 4. Uh, ito na yung magiging resulta. Ha? Check na lang. x cubed over 3. So, magiging 8 x to the fourth over 4, 1.5, 3, meron tayong sito. Again, the boundary condition is when x equals 3, y is 0. I hope nakuha nyo. Ha? Yung iba nasanay kasi, ha? when x is 0, y is 0. Ha? Eh, depende yan sa origin mo. Kanina, tama kasi yung A yung origin natin. Dito, hindi. Ha? Okay, I hope nakuha nyo. This is really about equation. Okay, substitute this condition here. Then, ito yung magiging resulta. Masasolve natin yung C2. By the way, kung napansin nyo, ha? pansinin nyo to, yung value ng C1 and C... Uh, yung, actually, yung value ng C1, yun yung slope at the origin. Yung value naman ng C2, yun yung deflection at the origin. Kaya dito, since our origin has deflection, kaya meron tayong C2. Since the origin has a slope, kaya meron tayong C1. Napansin nyo kanina, wala tayong C1 at saka C2, 0. Pansin ninyo, panoorin nyo ulit yung video. Ha? Pano, i-rewind nyo yung video. Okay, I can, maybe I can do that fast. Okay, mabilisan lang. Uh, ayan, okay, C1, C2 kasi at the origin, wala slope, wala reflection. So, nakuha natin C1, 0, C2, 0. Except kung may settlement, ha? Except kung may settlement. Kasi hindi magiging zero yung sito mo. Na? Okay. So that's just one uh, thing na manotis niyo. I hope na ano nyo, nakuha nyo. Alright. So we now have your sito. Then makukuha na natin yung equation ng elastic curve. So finally, at B. So that is the reflection ng slope at B. Uh, zero. At B, X is zero. Okay, so your EIY prime is 378. Hindi ko na lang solve yung value niya in radians or degrees. Ha? Yung reflection natin is 796.5. Hindi ko na lang solve in, in mm. Anyway, pareho yan kanina. Now, napasin nyo, bakit positive yung EIY prime? Bakit positive yan? Kanina, negative yan. Okay, kasi binalitan natin yung ating positive. Ginawa natin dito, kaya yung slope going on that direction is positive. Ay, kasi binalitan natin yung x na positive. Traditionally, going to here is positive. Not going to the right. But we make it going to the left. But yung y, tama pa rin. Kasi below the origin. Okay? 
So, ganun din at uh, point C. Then, at C, X equals 1. Ha? 1 meter. Oh, 1 meter. Kasi ito yung origin ko. 1 meter. So, kuha mo yung Y prime at saka yung Y. The same value yan kanina. Oh. Itong 378, ito yun. Oh. 378. Itong 796.5, ito yun. Oh. EI. Ang 348, ito yun. Ang 428, ito yun. Ito yung nakuha natin with the origin at at the piston. Ayos? Okay? So, I hope may natutunan kayo sa video natin. Ha? Abangan nyo ang part 3. I will solve this using the three moment equation. Again, nakita siguro nyo ang advantage ng uh, double integration ay uh, you have the equation of the elastic curve mismo. Ha? Well, the only setback with any method, ang setback lang talaga yung load. Kung may, natural, kung may hirap yung loading natin, talagang magiging, ano talaga, pawisan tayo. Ha? Pero simple loading lang yung sa body sa maniwala kayo. Na, bihira. I, I can't, ha? in my following the body for 30 years, na, wala yung load na talagang mahihirap. Ha? Yung complicated loading. Ha? So hindi yan, low probability yan. Yung uniform load ko sa free load, yung high probability talaga. Okay, so please don't forget to subscribe sa channel natin. And I hope you will uh, subscribe and you will like our videos. Follow us always. Okay, so thank you so much.